Yo, what is up? Joey Kane, sub7fitness.com. Welcome to the Seattle Eats series, where me and a few of my amazing friends will be taking you all across Washington and the greater Seattle area to try out restaurant after restaurant. And then we'll let you know how good it was. But first and foremost, this is a fitness channel. So we're not just going to tell you how good the food was, what the price points were, how the service was, or things like that. We're also gonna be breaking down the macro friendliness of the restaurants and categorizing them so you know whether it's better for cutting, lean bulking, high days, or just everyday use. So if that sounds good to you, come with me on this culinary journey and we'll get rocking. So today, we are all headed to Cham's Garden Korean Barbecue in Tacoma, Washington. Just heading over to the train station first to pick someone up and uh, we'll let you know how it goes. Pulled up to Palace. We're gonna get some all you can eat Korean barbecue. The original place we we're gonna go was super packed, so hopefully, we'll have a lot better luck here. They didn't give us the uh, premier YouTuber free spot yeah. or anything like that, so real cool. disappointing. Testing for the first time ever. It was Aust's idea, so we're gonna try it at the same time. Culture. We have all tapped out. But the man, he ordered another plate for just him. We are back from Palace, and now we're gonna give you our food rating. So, for me, I would say the food was definitely like a four, four and a half. I, my professional opinion, uh, four, four out of five slaps. It was some good stuff. Um, four out of five. 
Pretty solid there. I would give it a five because everyone else had four, just to spite them. But no, like they're, it was a good show. Good, good show. All right, so now our service rating. So for me, I'm gonna give them a five because it was the best service I've ever had at a Korean barbecue place. Like they came back to our table like at least once every three minutes. I, I'm gonna give the service like a three to be honest. So one of the ladies was super nice, came back all the time and fixed all the mistakes of the other one who refused to refill my water yes. like four times yes. and did, didn't get my boy his water. So I'm upset with her, but everyone else, high quality. Um, I would give it a four. It was like good, but not like amazing. But like for a Korean barbecue place, it was like pretty good. I'm not a good critic, so I'm gonna say five again because oh I can. No, but seriously, um, their service was like fast, responsive, nice and friendly. All right, so now we're gonna do price point. So uh, I paid for these three. Austin paid for himself. Um, it was like. 82 bucks so price point especially for korean barbecue i'm gonna give it like a like a two two and a half so like i'm not a uh, constant connoisseur of the korean barbecue arts but 25 dollars for one person all you can eat that's that's a good date price but if i was just going there with a group of friends i'm not about that so i'm gonna give it like a three out of five I don't pay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna give it a five because I didn't pay. But if I was going alone, I would give it like a three maybe because I've gone to other Korean barbecue places. Like it's good, but I wouldn't say it's worth that much money. That brings us to our last question. Would you say it was worth it? Like worth the price, worth the service, worth the wait time, all that. I would say that it was worth it. Food's about the company, so bring a friend. If not, it's not worth it. I think it's worth it if you go to Korean barbecue like once in a while. It's not something you should probably go to a lot, but it's pretty good for like, it was pretty worth it like every month or two at most. I say it's worth it if you, like, she, like Justina said, if you don't go very often, because like price point mainly, that would turn me off, but I would say worth overall. All right, so now I'm gonna give you my ratings on macro friendliness and then categorize it for you. So I would say that Korean barbecue, especially at Palace where I showed you earlier, they have a great variety of different foods. Very macro friendly. You could opt to just get chicken breast and stuff like that. That's not really any fun. I would definitely go with like flank steak and things like that. Definitely work it in your macros, but it can be very macro friendly. It is all you can eat, so you can get as much rice as you want. You can eat as many of the sides or as little of the sides as you want and everything like that. And if I were to categorize it, I would say it's probably best for when you have a high day, if you're planning on eating a lot of rice, and actually be a really good option for cutting because you get all of your protein in that one meal and you can keep, stick to really lean proteins and eat just a little bit of rice. Uh, so I would, I would say it was the best for those two, either for a high day or for when you're cutting, just make sure you stay away from a lot of rice. Don't eat the intestines. That's a fail.